What up, what up, what up? What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Jess, welcome back to another Madden 25 franchise gameplay. And today, we are in week 15, almost at the end of the season. So far, we have only lost one game, and uh, we've been doing very well, you know, on both sides of the ball. Right here, we're going up against Big Ben. Having a decent year, 17 TDs, 10 interceptions. They still have Chris Johnson at the running back position, so... Obviously, you know, uh, we got to try and stop, you know, him from hitting uh, any space. Just way too fast, way too quick, and we don't want him to go on ahead and start running a muck on us. So, uh, right here, man, pitch right there to CJ2K, and we get a big hit by D. Hall. So, uh, right now, you're taking a look at our defensive players. So, uh, so far this year, man, we have really done fantastic defensively. Way better than I would have thought. You know, I really feel like we drafted an amazing defensive team. Uh, we won with Colin Kaepernick, number one. And then I think we, no, 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 we went with Patrick Willis and then Colin Kaepernick. And then uh, followed by, I think it was Des Bryant and like some defensive players. But, you know, we, we just really uh, drafted a good group of guys. My overall for defense is 86, which is really, really good, which is way better than what it was for the uh, Vikings. For the Vikings, I think it was somewhere around the 70s. My offense was really good because my offensive line was absolutely amazing. I had some of the best offensive line at each position, not to mention the 99 overall running back. But uh, this year, as Butler drops just a wide open pass, uh, stopping a team on all Madden is not easy. It's extremely difficult. Um, they always seem to block enough when you're sending a blitz. You know, uh, you send man-to-man, -man, you send... Uh, zone they just always seem to find somebody open so but uh you know this season man the defense have just been really incredible right here we roll out and we end up finding big old Gronk cutting across towards the left side of the field which we end up throwing a strike to he has been our uh, most productive receiver this year right here we hit him with the uh, modified screen and big old Gronk goes on ahead and gets into the end zone one time Bronx break right there and uh, we are now up 7-0 which is always a beautiful thing going up one possession we do get ball at halftime so uh, you know, just trying to take advantage, you know, of that stoppage that we got. So, uh, here we go back again on defense. And, again, they decide to run the ball right here on uh, second and five. And we push them out of bounds. So, third and two right here, beginning of the second quarter. I come around the edge, and we end up getting another stoppage on third down and provides us another uh, turnover on downs. And, like I said, man, these don't come, you know, too easy. Uh, I do find myself struggling on defense a ton. But, you know, this season, man, defense has just been waking, making way too many big plays for me. Makes me feel like I know what I'm doing on defense, even though I don't. You know, I just got a bunch of playmakers who just do a really good job of being able to do their job correctly. Right here, just, uh, you know, bad throw by Kaepernick. Uh, had him open, but just, again, a bad throw. Right here, we step up in the pocket, and we get sacked, and we are forced to go on ahead and uh, kick a field goal. Um, I believe the Vikings franchise, I think I lost twice. I think I went 14-2. and two. And uh, end up winning the Super Bowl. So, so far this year, I have lost once. But I can say this team is way better than the Vikings team. Even though I rarely run the ball. You know, I wanted to go on ahead and get myself a um, a team that can uh, pass the ball. You know what I mean? So, I went ahead and got myself some receivers. I went ahead and got Colin Kaepernick. And, uh, you know, I probably run the ball two to three times a game. You know, mainly because I wanted uh, to stay in that pocket and just sling the ball. Considering the first season, I barely passed the ball and ran all day because I had such great weapons in offensive line and Adrian Peterson. So, uh, right here, man, uh, we end up calling the first attempt. We're looking, we're looking, and just end up finding Austin, who had a pretty good game, had plenty of receptions. Second and five, man, we roll back. We're looking. Nobody's really open. Just try to scramble, see if I can hit the edge. Unfortunately not. Cut us off, so we end up just throwing it out of bounds. Third down right here. We go to the play action. We're looking. I think I see Gronk right there and wide open. He ends up picking up the first down. On that play action play, Gronk is open. You know, good. Look at this dude. What up? Oh, man. Broke two people and left that outside. Wide open. That double juke quick inside, outside stutter step. It gets us plenty of room to go on ahead and score the end zone on the quick wheel route. So that right there gives us an 17-0 advantage, and we get ball at halftime. So uh, not looking too good for these Titans. Uh, and as I mentioned, man, we are heading into the home stretch of the season, almost being towards an end and us being able to uh, head on into the playoffs. So, uh, so far, so good this season. As I've mentioned several times in this video, defense has been absolutely amazing. 
Our offense could be better. You know, since I'm throwing the ball so much, I make a ton of mistakes. As you guys see, Kaepernick was at, what, like 24 TDs and like 21 enters or 24 or something like that. I, I make way too many passing mistakes. But due to the fact, like, if I did that with the Vikings, I, I wouldn't be able to win. There's no way I would be able to win throwing so many turnovers and not being able to um, stop anybody. You know, now... I'm pretty much almost 50-50, you know, TDs and uh, interceptions. What still makes us able to be successful, considering I have so many turnovers, is the fact that, you know, our defense plays really, really, really well. Uh, right here, man, we step up in the pocket, really quick play to uh, Austin. And I love giving him the ball, especially in space, man, because he's so elusive. Just a couple of jukes, man, and he is breaking whoever's in front of him. You know what I mean? So I definitely like giving him the ball as much as possible. Right here, man. Try the wide receivers. Whoa, beat some dirt, son. Try the wide receiver screen, and uh, that got locked up. So we end up just rushing outside. And we actually end up getting it. Kiss that bicep one time, though. We actually end up scoring a touchdown to my surprise, which I definitely wasn't expecting that. So 24-0. Uh, to zero. Game is pretty much well in hand, unless there is a complete meltdown at this point. Uh, there's nothing they're going to be able to do to come back. You know what I mean? Uh, Patrick Willis on back-to-back -back tackles. Uh, stopping the running back. Third and 14, we set Pat Willis, who goes on ahead and gets a big sack on fourth and 24. And again, man, defense pitching a shutout at this point, man. We've been doing an excellent job of tackling and also in pass coverage. Patrick Willis has been possibly the best uh, draft pick I've picked, even over Adrian Peterson. I, I really believe so. Like, Patrick Willis does so much. Like, he's got like 34 blitz, I mean, sacks. I just send him on a blitz, and he just comes right in. He's a block-shedding mas machine. He's hard to block. Uh, he stops to run well. He plays the pass pretty well, like as good as you want from a middle linebacker. Like, the guy is just a play-making machine, and there, there's not too many instances where I find myself saying Patrick Willis didn't make a play for me. You know what I mean? He just plays everything so, so well. His pursuit angles. Like I said, I just put him on a blitz, sit back, and just watch him wreck havoc. Havoc, and he's just been an absolute star for me this season. And um, even though he doesn't have that many tackles, you know, he has somewhere like around 80, but he has 80. You know, the league leader has like 150, but he has 80 in half of the time. You know what I mean? I only play six minute quarters where uh, everybody else, their games are simmed at 12 minutes a quarter. So that's why my defense is always ranked number one. It's not because, you know, I do so awesomely great on defense. It's because I play half of the time that everybody else does. So, um, therefore, I only give up, you know, 200 yards where everybody else is giving up 400. I may only give up 20 points where everybody else is giving up like 30 or 40 or something like that. So, um, but, you know, considering the limited time of minutes that he's played, man, he's he's made a, a ton of, you know, contributes. Uh, contrib what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, he just contributed a lot. <laughs> we'll say that. Uh, right here, man, uh, I, I kind of want to keep this shutout. You know what I mean? I kind of want to keep it, but uh, Roethlisberger throws a dot towards the back in the end zone towards the right corner. So at this point, they are definitely in onside kick desperation, which we do end up recovering right there. So, of course, the offense doesn't stop. You know, we're not going to go on ahead and run the ball or kneel the ball and try and get... Um, you know, different things to happen. You know, I want to be able to uh, still, you know, keep my offense going as, as much as possible. You know, playoffs are almost coming, so we, we, we got to get in form. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Uh, right here, just bad throw by me. I did not think he was going to play that so well. I thought he was going to keep going more towards the sideline. I figured if I positioned it up, I would have the good trajectory trajectory over the opponent and uh unfortunately for me that did not happen it's a bumbo. smith comes through with the rear view hit stick oh going ahead and yeah hit him with that was that goldberg that did that wwe kind of right it looks goldbergish so right here first attempt we go to the play action man to man but we do find momo um dragging across the screen for a good reception of uh, eight yards everybody had a terrific day everybody had you know five plus catches except momo he only had like two or three but Austin, Butler, Des Bryant, Gronkowski, everybody had just a phenomenal game. Right here, whoop, hit him with the spin move, break two tackles, get into the end zone as Des Bryant scores a touchdown. Hit him with the X one time, though. And uh, that right there is basically the end of the game. 16 seconds left, 34-7. One of our most dominating wins this year. We have just done excellent on both sides of the ball. Did throw an interception, but, I mean, I make mistakes. All the time. I mean, I throw the ball 30 times a game. I'm going to make a mistake, especially on this all Madden cheese, where they literally never drop an interception. Like, never. I think I've seen, uh, I've definitely seen one 
but I think I've only seen just one pure dropped interception, like dropped out of their hands. Uh, most of the time, they almost caught this too. Most of the time, uh, it's not a swat, it's a clear cut call interception. So uh, I just throw way too many picks. But that's the end of the game, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Look out for week 16 coming up soon. That is me against the uh, Seahawks divisional game. As you see, over 300 yards passing. I believe Kaepernick is number three in uh, league leaders in passing. So, um, you know, to have him top five in passing yards, something I did not expect this year. So, uh, who knows? Maybe we could even get that number one spot. Right now, number one is Peyton Manning. So, hopefully we can go ahead and take that spot. So, another victory for us as we go on ahead next week and face the 9-5 and five Seahawks. Like I said, which will be coming up shortly. So, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, man. As always, your boy GS, you guys should already know. Love each and every single one of y'all. Links are in the description, man. Follow Twitter. Um, T-shirt shop is open. If any of you guys, you know, haven't checked out the channel in a while, go on ahead and check that stuff out. Uh, I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.